Hi everyone! So this video is going to go over how to find our max and min using a graphing calculator. Um, this is the question that I am referring to um, and we shall get started. So uh, the calculator I am using is a TI-84 Plus C Silver Edition. Um, I believe any other Texas Instrument graphing calculator will also work using this method. So um, the first thing, the goal of this problem is to first graph the function and then we want to estimate any, any relative um, extrema. So uh, first things first, we want to graph the function. So we're gonna go to, on our graphing calculator, we're gonna go to the upper left-hand side where it says y equals. We're gonna go ahead and click that. And then we're just gonna go ahead and insert this equation we have here. So feel free to do this along with me if you like. So we have negative x to the six minus 4x to the 5th plus 54x to the 4th plus 160x cubed minus 641x squared minus 128x plus 12,000. Perfect. All right, after we have our equation in our calculator, we're gonna go ahead and press graph, which is at the upper right-hand corner. And then you'll see kind of like a loading sign at the top. Um, it looks yellow. That means it's graphing. So we have part of the graph right now. Sometimes it takes a while, so we'll be patient. Perfect, so now the little yellow circle stopped showing up, so that means it's done graphing. Uh, but as you can see, it doesn't look like we can um, see any mins or maxes, so that tells me our window is not correct. So uh, what I did is I looked at the different options that the uh, question had, and I figured out that option C had the best window to use. So option C had um, these constraints. So X uh, was between, they set the graph so that X is between negative 10 and 10, and the Y between 2000 and 18,000. So now we're gonna um, learn how to do that to adjust the window. So at the, at the very top next to the Y equals is a button called window. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And then we are going to insert um, these values so that hopefully we can see some mins and maxes. So for our x min, we're going to keep it at negative 10. Perfect, it's already there. And then x max is 10. That's also already there. Perfect. And then we're going to leave the scaling to 1. And then y min, we're going to change that to 2000. And then for y max, we're going to change that to 18,000. And then we're just going to leave everything else the same. All right, now we're going to try graphing again and see what we come up with. So on the very right-hand corner again, hit graph. And then we see the little loading sign. Loading sign. Now it looks like we're seeing something, right? Perfect. All right, now it is done graphing. So next we wanna just kind of um, know and just visually see firsthand where the mins and maxes might be. So on the left-hand side, I made it easier for you to see where the mins and maxes are, and I denoted them with letters. So at point A, we see that there's a relative max. Point B, there's a relative uh, min. C, relative max. D, relative min. And then lastly, E, another relative max. So now we're gonna use our calculator to find those mins and maxes. So we'll start with A. So we will go to the top, or sorry, we will hit seconds, seconds, trace. That enables the calculate function. So remember that A, point A is a max. So we're gonna scroll down to maximum and press enter. Now, you can see that at the top, it lists the equation we're working with. 
and at the bottom it is asking for left bound. So that means we are focusing on point A, which is up here, and we want to find the left bound of this max. So I'm going to use the arrow keys and move my cursor, which is right here. I'm going to move it so that it's on the left side of the max. Perfect. Now it's at the left, and I'm going to click Enter. Perfect. So now my left bound is there. Now it's asking for the right bound. So I'm going to use my arrow keys again and move it to the right side of the max. I'll hit Enter again. And then the last question it asks is your guess. So make your best guess on where the max might be. I'm going to move my cursor there and click Enter one more time. And then here we are. So at the bottom, it says maximum. And at the last line, it has your X and Y coordinates. So over here on the left hand side on my paper, I'm going to write down so point A, it's a relative max. And that point, I'm going to round each coordinate to three decimal places. So X coordinate is negative. 6.262 comma 1,000 for or 14,013.795 so point A we got our point A so now let's do our point B using the same process so again we're going to go second calc and we're going to click min this time because we're looking at point B. Point B is a relative minimum. So we're going to hit enter and we'll do the same thing. Use your arrow keys. We got our left bound. Let's get our right bound and our best guess. Perfect. So now we have point B. It is a relative min, and our x coordinate is negative three point six eight three comma eight five one one point nine seven one. All right, and we are going to keep going with this process. So now, hopefully, you've gotten the hang of it. Uh, now we're we're going to do point C, which is relative max second calc. Find max, then we got left bound, right bound, and our best guess. Perfect. All right, point C is relative max. We have negative zero point. Five five nine, comma, twelve thousand two hundred forty point zero six four. Perfect. All right, we are almost done. Now we have point D, and point D is a relative min. So here we go again. Second calc, min, left bound. And right bound, best guess, point D is a relative min, our x coordinate is 2.116 comma 9716.916. Perfect. Now we are left with our last um, relative max. So once again, seconds, calc, I'm going to go to maximum. I mean, we're going to do our left bound and our right bound, and then a guess. Point E is a relative max. We have 
five four comma one seven four seven four point one two one. All right, and then we are finished. So I hope this answered any questions and I hope this demo uh, explained more about how to use your calculator using mins and maxes and cleared anything else up. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to uh, reach out to me on uh, Campus Wire or shoot me an email, um, open to DMs and emails. So if you have any questions, feel free.